thanks for giving me an opportunity to uh, introduce Korean community in Australia and the Korean media industry in Australia. Uh, today I have three topics. Uh, first one is the uh, brief, inter brief introduction of the uh, Korean community in Australia, and the uh, second topic is about the uh, New South Wales government ethnic media scholarship. And third one is a major topic, future of uh, multicultural print media in Australia. And I based, my st uh, topic is based on uh, Korean community, of course. In Korean speaking uh, co community in Australia, there are roughly uh, 140,000 to 150,000 Korean speaking people in Australia. Uh, these number including, uh, includes temporary residents such as students, working holiday makers, and uh, the visitors. As you can see, the uh, about uh, 100,000 to 110,000 in New South Wales, mainly in Sydney. So about 70% uh, based in New South Wales, another 10 to 15,000 in Victoria, and another 15 to 20,000 in Queensland, Brisbane, and Gold Coast, another 10,000 in other states. In New South Wales, about, uh, there are 12 uh, newspaper and magazines, including two uh, daily newspaper. In Victoria, there are about four. In Queensland, about five, altogether in Brisbane and Gold Coast. So roughly about 150,000, uh, 50, 30% is uh, Australian citizen, another 50,000, another 30% uh, permanent resident, and another 50,000 are students and holiday makers. And next topic is about the New South Wales government uh, ethnic media scholarship initiated by last November in New South Wales government by the C Community Relations uh, CRC. And you can see the uh, photo of the uh, Minister Victor Domelello and the chairperson of the uh, uh, Stefan Kekshirian. Uh, actually, Korea Times Australia has been chosen one of four uh, recipients of this uh, scholarship. The main purpose, as you can see, the acknowledging the uh, role of ethnic role in uh, New South Wales and providing a major learning uh, experience and uh, we are providing like a six months uh, apprenticeship in this year. Uh, there is a selection, selection committee there, so uh, com selection th there are three members in sele selection communities, one of our representatives, one of the uh, CRC members, one of the independent members. The scholarship recipient is determined by the selection committee. I think this uh, scholarship is a uh, first and uh, quite meaningful initiative taken by the CRC of New South Wales, and it is an excellent encouragement for ethnic media. We expect these programs should be developed further and uh, widened to provide important opportunities to many talented young uh, reporters. Next is the major topic, future for multicultural print media in Australia, challenges we faced and the possibility to strengthen as a business model, looking at the uh, a Korean community's perspective. As you can see, the, these photos, I collected last week's uh, uh, printed version. There are roughly 14, 15, all different small sections and uh, small uh, compact size and Middle East tabloid version, and right-hand side is like a, a broadsheet uh, paper. Our newspaper is a, belong to one of the uh, broadsheet version like this. This is like last Friday papers. So as you can see, the uh, roughly in New South Wales, 110,000 Korean-speaking people in New South Wales. There are about over 12 newspaper and magazine. Simply too small market, too much media itself. To understand the uh, or estimate the future of the Korean community's media in Australia, we need to address the current situation and the major issues we've uh, so we faced so far. In Sydney, as I mentioned, there are approximately a dozen Korean language printed media sources such as newspaper and magazine. In Melbourne, there are four. In Queensland, there are another five newspapers or magazine. Most of these papers and magazines are distributed on a weekly basis, weekly basis to Korean community. All of them are free, except uh, two uh, Korean daily. This number of around 12 Korean uh, community papers currently being published in New South Wales are simply too many. All of these printed newspapers, magazines, 
are being distributed through Korean groceries and other shops in Korean community. In many instances, their primary and uh, almost only income source is advertisement, as in many cases, the fees from subscription is quite negligible. Printed media in Korean community is still major resources, but its influence is getting reduced and the uh, future is quite uh, at the real crossroad. This information gives us insight the uh, overall financial situation, which is in general quite difficult. The sales volume of each media advertisement is approximately between $300,000 to $1 million per year. And most of these belong to small business, in fact, micro business, I think. The number of employees range between five to 10 people. There is too much competition for advertisement and the rate has been reduced rather than increased. In comparison, in the past two to three years, the revenue from advertisement has significantly decreased by between 20 to 30%. The primary reason for this decrease are they are relying too much on tourism and immigration. Many businesses in Korean community are self-employed with a few employees, such as education agent, inbound travel agent, restaurant, hairdressers, health food stores, gift shop, grocery stores, etc. relying on the number of Korean visitors to Australia. During the last few years, the number of Korean students, working holiday makers, and other visitors have stagnated. A key reason for uh, the reduced inflow of Korean students is a change in the Australian government policy to immigration. As certain skills and uh, trades are no longer valid in obtaining uh, permanent residency, it has become increasingly difficult for overseas students with qualification in fields such as hairdressing, cookery, and bakery to qualify to, for permanent residency. Another uh, factor for this, this decline is the value of Australian dollar which has been greatly appreciated against uh, US dollars and other major currencies the last few years. This becomes a highly relevant issue for many Korean parents in Korea who fund the students of their children abroad. Result, another problem is reduced uh, influence and weak readership. The quality of contents and the level of comp competition from digital media sources such as Internet and uh, IPTVs, TV broadcasting are two major reasons for the decline in influence and the weak readership of many Korean printed media outlets in Australia. Licensing is another, another key issue. Only two Korean daily and one weekly magazine have licensed copyright from Korean media outlet. There are less than five or six Korean media, Korean media sources with just uh, a few reporters, probably one to three reporters, which cover the Australian news, mainly through translation and Korean community news. Many magazines contain little news or editorial content, and in these, most of their contents are advertisement. Now the uh, major topic is future the Korean media in Australia. There are uh, crucial factors, I think, is the growth of Korean population in Australia. I do not expect the, uh, very much to occur in the next five years. However, if the uh, population of Korean speakers in Australia grows to, say, about 300,000 persons, I fully expect that uh, many media, many major Korean media networks in Korea would invest in Australia and likely to set up newspaper companies with large-scale scale printing machines and broadcasting facilities. We have seen this is in the USA. This is the exact case of some Korean communities in USA. The Korean co population in U USA is approximately 2.5 million there. And we are Korean Times Australia, and we, we belong to one of the Korea Times uh, media group in Korea head office. This is one of big four uh, media industry in Korea. And the Korea Times USA have got a, like a 10 version and two uh, version in Canada. Uh, one Australian version in Australia recently. There is another uh, conversion trend. There is a movement. There is a movement within uh, Korean media in Sydney uh, towards the conversion and adaptation of print media to website and smartphone application and digital version of the uh, PDF newspaper and tablet PC version as well. However, due to uh, limited resources and heavy financial burden, 
the process is quite slow and uh, difficult. So I think the urgent need to have more experts in Australia is quite a big issue for our community. If the Korean media in Australia wants to be recognized as important news provider, they must have more professional and well-trained journalists who are highly knowledgeable and familiar with Australian politics, the economy and business, and culture and art, sports and entertainment, and other issues. These experienced journalists should be also fluent in a bilingual capacity, preferably with uh, educational qualification from Australian social institution. There is an urgent need to have more experienced and well-balanced uh, journalist with an in-depth knowledge of Australia as a whole. I can give some two uh, examples shortly because of the uh, our difficulty in Korean community in media. Uh, bad one is the uh, bad impression of the uh, impression by uh, given by the uh, given by the Australian uh, Korean media in in Korea as a, such a like a uh, low grade analysis. For example, any um, bilateral relation between Korea and USA are covered by academics and or exp expert in matter relating to the United States. The Korean media can provide quite in depth study. However, compared to these cases. The level of Australian analysis in the Korean media in Korea is extremely, ex very extremely elementary level. Still, they are talking about kangaroo and that sort of thing. <laughs> whenever, they, whenever, when it comes to mention about Australia, they still talking about this sort of, of, of so so basic uh, elementary school knowledge. Second example is the uh, frequent problem of the exaggeration and misunderstanding. This is really bad impact on Australia. Between last September to November, there are about eight assault cases in Victoria, New South Wales, and Queensland. These victims were Korean overseas students, working holiday makers, and temporary visitors. Among these eight assault incidents, just one or two cases, we can guess, seems to be racially motivated assault. However, the Korean media in Korea covers this story as a big issue in a very skewed manner indicating most of them are racially motivated, providing Korean readers a very negative impression of Australia, implying the idea of racism, particularly towards an Asian people in Australia, giving the impression of Australia is a very uh, extreme racist country. Indeed, some newspapers even suggest a Korean government should recall the Korea ambassador in Australia back home as a protest against racism in Australia. This is totally nonsense, but one of the major uh, newspaper claimed this sort of argument. <coughs> this kind of fabricated and sensationalized report in a typical case of exaggeration, born from ignorance and illustrates just how much development is required between the media relations of both nations. Last, I think some w a possibility as a business model. This is uh, totally my idea. Uh, the Korean media in Australia should have role of bridging the distance between Australia and Korea. Uh, this role, oops, sorry. Uh, this role should ha uh, also harbor and uh, perform two-way communication. This means there are more. There should be more sending Australia-related article and interview to the Korean media in Korea, rather than simply receiving and copying content from. Korean media in, in Korea and published in Australia. If the Korean media in Australia could be recognized as an authority on Australian issue, it would bring more business opportunity in the media. There are many like a cultural or sports event very unique to Australia, such as Australian Open Tennis Championship, Royal, Royal East Show, Melbourne Cup, Adelaide F a Fringe Festival, Sydney to Hobart Race, and New Year's Firework in Sydney Harbour, Sydney Luna, Luna New Year Festival and Twilight Parade and Mardi Gras, etc. Et if we can cover this big event in more detail and related stories and sell them to overseas market, it can create a blue ocean market. This is my uh, idea. That's all, thank you.